So what is Pinguino? This is the best way to try to answer. Pinguino is a platform for physical software. And, and the question is, so what is physical software? Okay, here is the answer. At the top, in blue, we have the PC, and then at the right, in green, we have uh, smartphones, and Pinguino is just at the left, in the red. We, we have these three kinds of uh, devices. One is the PC, another is the smartphone, and another is Pinguino. So here is the way to understand uh, physical software. At the top, in the PC or the desktop PC, we just call it software. And for smartphone devices, we can call it social software. And in the Pinguino case, we can call it physical software. So why? So here is the answer. They are all software, but at the blue, in the PC, the software tries to amplify our mind, our intellect. And at the green, the social software, the software tries to make uh, our social life better. It enrich our social life. And then at the red, in the physical software, the software tries to extend our physical body in uh, the way that it touch the reality and make possible for the software uh, to participate into the uh, physical reality like our bodies do. Okay, it is within this framework that we can call Pinguino a platform for uh, this new physical software universe. It is a uh, software that can uh, talk to physical reality in the same uh, way that our bodies, our arms, our eyes and ears, the same uh, stuff we uh, do when interacting with reality uh, Pinguino and physical software will help you to develop software that can uh, participate into uh, physical reality the same way we do. So this is physical software. In uh, our PC, in our desktop PC, the software is more connected with intellectual activities. And with smartphones, software is more connected with social activities. And with physical software, the software we create will be more connected with sensing and acting on reality itself. That's why we uh, like to call it physical software. Here we have four examples of Pinguino hardware. Depending on what you are going to do, you may choose one format more appropriate. At the top, we have the 32 bits. Then below it, we have the 8 bits format. And then below it, we have the original Pinguino kit. And then, at the bottom, we have a handmade homebrew Pinguino. They are all Pinguinos. So here we have a very, very small list of what we can do with uh, physical software and Pinguino. We can read temperature, detect movements, detect light, sound, control lights, control motors, control devices, etc., etc. 
and of course you can do all this with the same uh, software capabilities as the PC uh, itself okay here is our very simple sample this is two 1.5 batteries and this is a homebrew handmade pinguino there is only one two three and four parts and this is small light uh, inside this microcontroller we have our operational system and we have this little software which is just turning on and off turning on and off turning on and off the LED this uh, red lamp here all right that's it so here is the program that you saw blinking the light this small software is running inside the pinguino inside that small uh, board